When we think of milk, we often associate it with cows and eggs with chickens. We tend to forget that while these animals are the means, the real source of these blessings is Allah. The cow and the chicken are simply the asbab, the channels through which Allah provides. But ultimately, Allah is the true provider. Just as Allah can give us milk through a cow, He can provide it without one. And just as Allah can give us eggs through a chicken, He can provide them without one. This is what tawakkul truly means, placing our trust in Allah while using the resources or means known as asbab that He has given us. We work with what is available, but our hearts remain confident that Allah is the ultimate planner and provider. Allah says in the Quran, and whoever relies upon Allah, then he is sufficient for him. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, has told us in a very beautiful hadith, if you were to rely upon Allah, with the reliance he is due, you would be given provision like the birds. They go out hungry in the morning and come back with full bellies in the evening. Sometimes, in hardship or difficulty, it can be hard to be patient or hopeful. But we must remember that if we place our trust in Allah, everything will work out. That is Allah's promise. When Yunus salam was swallowed by the whale, Allah provided for him and took care of him for 40 days. No science or human logic can explain how, but Allah who controls everything made it possible. And when Ibrahim salam was thrown into the fire, Allah made the fire cool for him. What was meant to harm became a place of safety and rest. Both prophets had full trust in Allah, knowing that unless He willed, no harm could come to them. We often put efforts into our jobs, relationships, and endeavors, but we sometimes forget that the means we use are just tools. True success ultimately comes from Allah. Once you've done your part, remember to trust in Allah and not rely solely on the means. Just like a farmer who plants seeds and waters his crops, he must then rely on Allah to provide the rain and nutrients for the plants to grow. However, the farmer can't rely on Allah alone without doing his part. He still needs to plant the seeds and tend to them. This balance between effort and trust is illustrated in the story of the man who asked the Prophet, peace be upon him. O Messenger of Allah, should I tie my camel and trust in Allah, or should I leave her untied and trust in Allah? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Tie her and trust in Allah. In return for our trust, Allah not only guides us, but also rewards us. Allah says in the Quran, And rely upon the ever-living who does not die, and exalt Allah with his praise. This reliance was demonstrated by the Muslims during the Battle of Badr. Although the Muslims were severely outnumbered, with one Muslim for every three disbelievers, they trusted in Allah's support and as a result, they were victorious. They made every effort in preparation for the battle, but ultimately relied on Allah for success. This victory, despite the odds, shows us how true tawakkul in Allah brings not just success in this world, but unimaginable rewards in the hereafter. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, 70,000 of my ummah will enter paradise without reckoning. They are those who did not seek ruqya, nor believe in bad omens, nor use cauterization, but they put their trust, tawakkul, in their Lord. This hadith highlights that a special group of people who fully rely on Allah will enter paradise without judgment or reckoning. This is the ultimate benefit of tawakkul, a path to paradise. It's important to remember that trusting in Allah does not mean life will always be easy, but that it will always be meaningful and aligned with Allah's wisdom. When we do our part and trust in Allah, we must be patient and content with whatever befalls us. For example, if you are seeking a job or career advancement, you will make efforts through applications, networking, and interviews. Then you put your trust in Allah and understand that success ultimately comes from Allah, even if it takes time or leads to a different outcome than expected. You may not get the job you wanted, but you will receive the opportunity that is right and perfect for you, because Allah knows what is best for us. Allah's plan is perfect and greater than our dreams, 
even if we cannot see the wisdom right away. Once you have done your part, let go of excessive worry as it contradicts the essence of trusting Allah. So now that we know the importance of tawakkul, let's discuss how we can gain this beautiful quality in our lives. Call upon Allah and when you do, pray with certainty that you will be heard and answered. Ask Allah for everything you need and want. The Prophet peace be upon him was instructed by Allah. And when you have decided, then rely upon Allah. Indeed, Allah loves those who rely upon Him. Once you have made a decision, know that the outcome is in the hands of Allah, who is the best of planners. Allah gives us the opportunity to converse with Him and to unburden our hearts and minds at least five times a day. The five daily prayers are the greatest key to success in this life and the next. Find comfort in the reality that Allah will never burden you with more than you are capable of. Allah does not charge a soul except with that which is within its capacity. We must remember that Allah has reminded us of the key to true success. Sabr and Sada Sometimes it may seem as if things are not working out, but if we are patient, we will see why Allah's plan is greater than our dreams. Ask yourself, where can I trust Allah more in my life? Is it in my job, my family, or my health? Start today by taking steps toward tawakkul and see how it brings peace and contentment into your heart. And remember, once you have done your part, you rely on Allah to grant you success, trusting that whatever the outcome is what's best for you. May Allah bless us with tawakkul in our hearts, grant us peace in every step we take, and reward us in this life and the hereafter. Amin.